Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my January favorites and it is already February. Woo! It's a leap year. That's so cool. I mean imagine what it's like to have your birthday on like the 29th and then like never get to have your birthday. So if you have a birthday this year, I am so excited for you. Isn't that weird? That's what a leap day is, right? Oh my God, I'm going on a tangent. Anyways, this January, I was half of the month in Toronto, Canada, being cold and frozen and not wanting to leave the house. And then the other half, I was in LA and still not wanting to leave the house. Oh, I gotta work on that. Anyways, if you wanna know all of the products I have been loving for the last month, then just keep watching. Okay, so like I said, I don't leave the house very often, um, but I'm not sure why. This month has been a very, very minimal makeup month. If you follow me on Snapchat, which if you don't, you should, because you'll definitely see another side of me. I feel like when I'm filming videos, I'm like all formal and like, here are my products. But on Snapchat, you get to see the weird, crazy shit I do on a daily basis. And you'll see me with like no makeup and doing some really stupid things because I'm a bit of a goof. Uh, so add me on Snapchat. Hello, great see you there um, but anyways so yeah I haven't been really wearing a lot of makeup and especially when I was in Toronto I was just like hanging out with my family and I still wanted to look like put together um, so that when I look in the mirror I didn't like scare myself but I still like didn't really care that much so honestly what I was using most days and I just I love this stuff and I feel like I don't talk about it and it's like the unsung unsung <laughs> the un unsung hero in my stash and it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. It looks like this and it, it's like a little bamboo lid, so cute. Inside is like, if you can see that we dropping it everywhere, inside is like, there's like a little net and all the products underneath it. So you like dip your brush and you swirl it around in here so it like really gets into your brush. And then there's a stopper on the lid so that it like, the product doesn't get everywhere and it can travel really easily, which is great. Um, I have the shade Fair Light Honey. So this is a powder, uh, like a mineral foundation. And it's different than just like, a powder or like a pressed powder so this actually has a lot of pigment in it and it actually has like medium to full coverage when you use this and it lasts a really really long time it still looks luminizing it doesn't look dry and cakey that's why I love it and it's so easy to apply you can use a really dense brush and press it in and pack it on I love just using this Sephora Pro airbrush number 55 it's just like a big kind of fluffy brush I just dip it in and literally dust it all over my face in like one coat and your skin looks amazing it covers all redness it colors any like weird stuff going on it covers pimples like pretty well um but yeah like it's just like fast and easy it's long lasting it looks very glowing on the skin not cakey um and it has a really really good coverage um and it just is so easy to apply so i've been loving this now underneath that something i don't think i've ever talked about um when you have pimples pimples when you have pimples um <laughs> I use this, and I feel like I never talk about this. This is the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Extreme Camouflage Cream. It comes in a little tube like this. I think there's lots of colors. I don't even know what color this is. It's been wiped off. That's fun. That's fun. Anyways, this is so good. It is so full coverage. And this is waterproof, which is awesome, because when you want it on your zits, you don't want that moving honestly for like my no makeup days i just take this on a brush i put a tiny bit under my eyes around my nose and when i have blemishes dust my face with this and that is like enough coverage that i need on like a regular daily basis when i'm just like hanging out so yeah this lasts all day it covers everything you need to cover like it could probably even cover tattoos it is such a good concealer these two together wonderful Quickly, I want to mention this, another face product. If I was filming over the last month or going out um, or like going to an audition or anything like that, I have been using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick. I love this. I have a full, full review and demo of this foundation. So if you're interested, I will leave it down below. But just know I am loving it. I am still using it. It's so amazing. It looks flawless in pictures, flawless on camera. If you're getting married, Kaylee, pick this one up. 
Okay, so I have shock, 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 shock and appalled. I have been, other than when I've been filming, but on a regular basis, I haven't worn a lot of eyeshadows and I am such an eyeshadow person. And so it's just something new to me. But um, all month I have been using my Tartlet in Bloom palette. I love this. The first Tartlet was all matte, which is great, but it's also nice to have a little bit of shimmer. And this is like the perfect combination of mattes and shimmers. But what I love about it is this row here, the bottom row, because look at this like burgundy, look at these reds. I have these all in my crease today. I This is the row that sold me these like really warm matte transition and crease colors. That's what really sold me. And then this shade right here called Firecracker. <gasps> it is so beautiful. It is like this like warm coppery look at that shade. I love this color. Okay, if you're fair skin like me, you need this palette because of these four shades right here. And they look like the most boring shades ever, but I am telling you, I have used these four shades on an every single day basis, and I'm probably gonna hit pan on those ones and run out of those ones and not know what to do with my life. <laughs> but anyways, I use this one on the brow bone. This is like a cream to blend everything out. I use this one as the transition color. It's so perfect if you're, if you're light like me and fair like me. And then I use Jet Setter like to deepen up the crease. And so these four matte shades. And then I use Funny Girl like all over the lid or just as a highlight and that's it. And then I either use this or any of these three colors as eyeliner. And that is all I've been doing on a daily basis. Like I really haven't been doing any like crazy lid colors or like liquid eyeliner. I've really just been using these and I do like a baby flick. And yeah, it's just, it's just, a, it's a stunning palette. I think you need it. Um, I'm obsessed with this. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. Uh, for Christmas, I got the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencil in Legend, and it's just the black one. There's not much to be said about this other than you put a tight line with it every single day. It doesn't tug at my eyes. Some eyeliners, you put them up there and it tugs and it hurts. Um, but this, I wear contacts, and this does not transfer onto my contact lenses. Sometimes if I put black eyeliner up there, it will transfer to my contact lenses, and it's the most annoying, annoying thing ever. And then all also, it will transfer to like if I close my eyes, then it, I will find it on my bottom waterline. This does not budge. Once you put it on, it is there for life. Home girl waterline a pencil. I love this. Go get it if you're having problems with contact lenses or watering eyes or transfer. This is what you need. Boom. One body lotion. Now this is expensive. I think it's like 40 something dollars. I got it for Christmas. I didn't want to love it as much as I do. And this is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. I have the shade, or the shade, the scent Red Roybus, which is beautiful. It's just light and like fruity, but a little bit warm. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a white, um, ultra whipped. Whipped is a good way to put it. It's not like the Body Shop Body Butters, which are like thick and like you really have to rub them in. This is like, this is like Cool Whip. This has the consistency of Cool Whip and it's so light on the skin and it just soaks in in seconds. Like you can put your clothes on right away after using this. But what I love about this is I have, what are these things back here? Calaris, Polaris, Polaris, Calare bumps on your arm that you don't want. Ever since I've been using this, I didn't even think this is what it was for. It isn't really what it's for, but I put this on my arms and like all those weird little bumps have disappeared. I'm not even lying. There must be some ingredient in here that is doing it for me. So if you have that on your arms, try this out. It will keep you nice and moisturized. It's so good. I love this thing. Dang, my mom knows how to pick them. We're almost done. This is a long video. Uh, two lip colors. Honestly, I think I've worn this like, how many days are in the month? 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. 31. 31 days in January, guys. Uh, I am hyper today. Uh, so this is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Mystic. It's just a pencil that you sharpen. This is the most moisturizing lip pencil ever. It's just this perfect peachy, mauve browny nude color. It's just like a like darker nude. It's like a peachy color. I absolutely love this. 
It smells incredible. It's long, long lasting. It's not matte, it's just like a satin. It's so hydrating and moisturizing yet stays on your lips, like hallelujah. It's so easy to apply because it's in a stick. I love these nude sticks and I just love this color for every day. It makes your lips look like plump and juicy and I just love this color. It goes with everything and it's just like your lips but better. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing this like most, most days, like traveling, just hanging out at home. It's been my favorite. Okay, if I have been wearing a bold lip, I think I was wearing it in like three or four of my videos. I wore it to Gen Beauty. I have just worn this color so much. It is the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in True Brown K. Now, I know some people don't like Kylie Jenner or whatever, but I had to buy this just to see what the hype was about. Now, I do think that ColourPop Limbo is pretty much the exact same color, but I just wanted to say as my favorites that chocolate brown lips are a favorite for me this month. I just, for some reason, I love the way it looks. If you have dark hair or red hair and dark eyes, oh my God, this does something. Now this formula, this has a smell that I seriously cannot figure out. Like it is something from my childhood. Does anyone know what this smells like? It is something from my childhood. It is bringing back so many memories, but I can't place it. It smells like watermelon or something. Anyways, it's really creamy. It's really moussey. Um, that's it right there. It is just a true brown chocolate color. It's stunning. Um, these, okay. These are pretty moisturizing. They dry matte, but they don't like dry out your lips. The only thing, it's not my most favorite formula, but what this does on me is I lose it in the middle of my lips, right here. So you get that butthole effect because it wears off right where your lips are like the wettest. So like right in the middle, which really sucks because if you're talking, you can see the line. Um, but I just kind of like reapply just right in the center there and then I just go about my day. So it like stays everywhere else, but you do kind of have to reapply and make sure you're not getting that butthole lip. So there are other better formulas out there. Um, like I know I just got all the Ofra lips, liquid lipsticks and they're the best formula. I'm wearing one of them today. And they have a chocolate brown, so I was just going for that one. But yeah, chocolate brown matte lips are my absolute favorite. So that was everything. This is an extremely long video. Tons of fit. I thought I said I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup this month. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Like, subscribe if you haven't. Join the family. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello everyone, so today's video is a Q&A all about who knows what. So I asked you guys on Twitter and Snapchat and if you don't follow me on those, you should because then you'll be able to ask me questions. So my handle is at Ms. Brittany Sarah for everything, every social media.